Hello and welcome to another Roblox tutorial. So in this video, I will teach you how to change the text of GUI objects such as text labels using scripts in Roblox Studio. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually make the GUI. So I'm going to go into Starter GUI, hit the plus arrow, insert a screen GUI, and then in the screen GUI, I'm going to hit the place arrow and insert a text label. So we have made our text label. I'm just going to do some quick positioning. It doesn't really matter. This, this is just so you can see it better. So it's somewhere in the middle, in the middle of our screen so we can see it. That's good. Now, let's make a remote event in replicated storage. And I'm going to name this remote event change GUI. And so what this remote event is going to be responsible for is communicating between the client and the server. So the reason you can't just go into a script and change the starter GUI dot screen GUI, GUI dot text label dot text so to whatever you want is because the GUI from starter GUI is replicated into each client. Each client in Roblox is like a player. And so you won't be accessing what the player sees. You'll be accessing the template that the player gets every time they load in to a game. So the way we're going to change our GUI is make a script in Starter GUI, which I will do right now. And in this script, we are going to take the output from our change GUI remote event and change our GUIs according to that. So this allows the server to send out a command and the client, which is our local script, since it's local, it only runs on the client, it will run there. So the first thing we're going to define in our local script is player GUI, which is going to be the script.parent, because when you load in to a game, all of the stuff in starter GUI gets put into the player GUI. And the next thing we're going to define in our local script is the change GUI event. So local change GUI equals game dot replicated storage waits for child change GUI. There we go. The reason we're using wait for child is to make sure it's loaded in. So now that we have these two variables defined, let's create an event. I have a video on events if you don't know what they are, so I recommend you check it out. I will link it right now. So local, so we defined our change GUI event. Now we need to access it. So change GUI, change GUI, if I can spell it, on client dot on client event, connect. We're going to connect a function. Make sure that your function has a closing parentheses and two parentheses for the parameters right here. And the arguments or parameters that we are going to take is the GUI that we want to access, the label that we want to change the text of, and the text that we actually want to change it to. So what we're going to do in this event handler, and so basically what's happening is whenever our server fires this remote event, this function will fire and so we want to change our GUIs in this function so we're going to access the player GUI player GUI and we're going to use brackets here another pair of brackets and dot text equals text so the reason we have player GUI bracket GUI bracket label is because what the brackets do is they basically take the name or like the little string that we're going to give to this player GUI and it's going to go oh let's find whatever starter GUI GUI is and then go find in that GUI whatever the label is so the reason we're doing this and we're not just saying player GUI dot screen GUI dot text label equals whatever is because I want to make the system expandable so you can have as many GUIs as you want as many text labels as you want the only restriction is that your text labels have to be within like the first layer of GUI so you can't put them in 
frames or something. But you can you can easily figure that out if you want to. So now that we have created our local script and added a function that will change the text of our GUI. And by the way, when you're doing this, make sure to do label bracket close bracket dot text because if you just do label equals text it'll think you're trying to set the text label object itself to the text but each text label has a property named text and that's whatever shows up to the player so now we're going to go into server script service and create a normal script and the first thing we're going to define in the script is the change GUI event the change GUI equals game dot replicated storage wait for child change GUI so now that we have the change GUI event we can do whatever you want after this point so the way you set up how you change your GUI on the server is first thing I'm going to do is wait a second because the player has to load in so if you try to change whatever GUI is on the screen instantly, the game will not recognize it, therefore their GUI will not be changed. But we're going to do change GUI, fire all clients, and we're going to send screen GUI, and then text label. And what text do we want it to be? Let's just say hello world. So remember, the parameters we are sending is whatever screen GUI we want to access, so the local script will say, hey, I, we need to access screen GUI dot text label, but remember there's brackets instead because the local script will not recognize the dots, it'll just think you're trying to do something else. And then we want to change the text of this text label to hello world. So if we run this, we'll wait a second, and then as you can see, this text now says, hello world. So that's basically it for how to change the text of a GUI in Roblox. So this system is very expandable. You can do whatever you want with it. It works really well for any application. I know this topic is one that I struggled with a lot when I was first started out because I thought you could just go to game.startergui.screengui.textlabel dot text equals whatever but due to roblox's server client system can't do that but this is a very simple workaround that basically accomplishes the same thing but instead of using a bunch of periods and paths to get to our de designated text label we can just send or use a function and a remote event so i hope you guys enjoyed Make sure to comment down below any questions or suggestions you have. And make sure to like and subscribe. Have a nice day and goodbye.